Namaste, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali, and today we're going to react into Sudguru's message to Pakistan. Yes, so it's just a little clip from his Youth and Truth talks that he does, and this one was at the London School of Economics, and um, one of the speakers asked him about... Um, you know Pakistan and this was kind of his response to it so uh, we just wanted to watch this little clip from it but we know um, he does a lot of these youth and truth yeah. talks um, where kids get to ask him questions and um, we've done a lot of other Sadhguru I really feel like his he has such knowledge and wisdom um, and he always he never really takes sides he kind of puts it in a different light um, and he never really pushes the issue like you should be a Hindu, you should be a Muslim, you should be this, you should be that. Like he's very like, you know, this is kind of how it is. If you think this way, that's okay. If you think this way, that's okay. Um, so I really enjoy listening to his, his talks and um, so we'll we'll definitely do more. But yes. um, we've done some things on Pakistan in the past, um, you know, kind of the cycle of hate and how we hope that they can kind of get out of that and work on you know, more economy and growth and education. And so I'm curious to see what he told us, uh, this, answered this question. So yes. let's start with that. As a Pakistani who's studying uh, with Indians here and, you know, we live uh, in harmony. Yeah, outside that region, they do wonderfully well to Of course. <laughs> this is what my question is, that uh, we are divided by border, but we share a lot of things. We share poverty, we share hunger, uh, any miseries you name, and, you know, both sides of, of the countries are, are going through it. Um, we have people who go to sleep hungry, sco school children who don't go to school. How do you think this, the youth, because the majority of Indian population is youth and, and so is Pakistan, how can you think that we can come together and really alleviate the miseries and work together for a better future. That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, that's a dicey question. It is, though. Let's try <clears throat> You must understand this. A nation is not some God-given stuff, okay? Only when you identify or make a nation on a religious basis, you may believe so. Otherwise, we know we made it. We write a constitution not a God-given document, we wrote it, subject to amendments, subject to changes as it is required for the well-being of the people. So, what is a nation today in the world is, still we've not come to that place where we can all embrace each other and live as one nation the entire planet. I wish someday we will get there, but you see you're already brexiting. Say <laughs> what? What Europe has done in the last uh, fifteen, twenty years is a truly phenomenal, fantastic achievement. <laughs> After World War I, World War II, nobody ever thought the Germans and the French and the Italians and the English could come together. Nobody imagined. Could you have imagined this in 1945? I'm asking you. No. But you achieved this European Union, it's not a small thing, don't think it's just an economic arrangement. It's a huge evolution in human consciousness. Yes or no? Yes. But now you're brexiting. <laughs> you can say whatever, people have voted for it, all right <laughs> People have chosen because for some economic reason or some other fear of immigration or whatever, all right. I'm not trying to blame anybody for that, but I'm saying, similarly, this India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, this whole region, including Sri Lanka, Nepal, everything was like one nation. Though politically we were different nations, there were times when we were over two hundred different political entities, but still we were one nation in culture, in… in many different ways, in our transactions together. But uh, whatever reason, there's no point doing a historical post-mortem and blame this person, that person, this situation, that situation. It's happened. Somebody drew lines without considering the geography of the land, simply across rivers, across villages, across mountains, simply, simply somebody drew lines, the kind of lines that you cannot defend. 
the kind of lines that needs constant engagement to keep it safe between the two nations. And above all, see, one thing that we need to bring, if you, if young people, all of you and all of you, if you are interested in the future of this world, we've still not come to that place where people can just live out of their consciousness, leaving their religion, their heaven and stuff and all that. But we must do this much in your generation. The coming generation must do this much. Religion should be a personal pursuit for people. Those who wish to, they pursue personally their own stuff. Yeah. But this ambitious way of approaching that, my religion should conquer the world, must go. This is one achievement you must do in the next twenty-five years, otherwise with the kind of technological advancements we have, we will have a massive disaster on this planet, isn't it? The days of the sword are over. Yeah. The days of the sword are over. Now if we continue with the same attitude, we will have a super massive disaster which will not be benefit anybody for that matter, okay? will not benefit the planet, will not benefit any creature on this planet, everybody will be hurt because of this. I'm saying one thing all of you are getting educated in premier institutions, one thing you must carry home, wherever you go, whatever religious background you come from, make everybody understand your religion is your personal pursuit, do whatever you want, all right? You look up, you look down, you look whichever way you want, it's up to you, all right? Don't tell me where to look, yes? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me where to look, don't force somebody else that this is the way or that is the way. If this one thing goes away, India-Pakistan will settle because culturally there's so much engagement, okay? I would say there was a South Asia conference in Dubai which I recently attended but uh, just at that time there was a terror attack in India and we had to invest, insist that uh, all Pakistanis drop out of the conference and it happened unfortunately. I was looking forward to that engagement, but uh, they had to drop out because this thing happened. What this is looking for is, we are all pushing for this, that South Asia region, which means India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Bhutan, Myanmar, this geographically one thing. We're looking at something like EU. Politically, you can still be different. You can do whatever damn religion you want, but economically, if we come together, we were the most prosperous part of the world at one time. That is because we operated as one at that time in many different ways. But today, there is no way. Everybody is trapped in their own little boundaries. So this is one thing we should push for. If you want to push for this, the most important thing is religion becomes just purely a personal pursuit, never a national goal or a, a global goal. It is actually a global goal right now. It should just be personal pursuit, never a global goal. If you do this one thing, India, Pakistan, all these nations and many other nations coming together will become a reality. Sadhguru puts it in a nice light, I think, and says it, you know, we've been saying that on this channel a lot when we've done um, political stuff, when we've done, um, you know, stuff that involves Pakistan, like Imran Khan got up on his, you know, pedestal and at the UN and, and started talking religion and Kashmir and stuff. Mm, religion shouldn't ever go into politics. Like no. that's, it should stay in your home. In your home in your mosque, in your church, in your temple. This is your own personal preference. Yeah, as this is soon your as you go out, belief. it stays inside. Right. Like, that's it. Everybody should be able to believe what they personally want to believe in, in gods or many gods or one god or... But that is your own personal belief. That's yeah. not something you push on others. Mm -mm. Um, it's one of those things like I always tell, like, you don't usually talk religion or politics with your friends sometimes because... You don't always agree, and, and it's okay not to agree, you know, but 
you don't want to ruin your friendship. So yeah. we tend to say that here. Like that's those couple topics you don't talk with your friends. But in this case, I liked how he said it. Like if we can let the religion part of it go, if you cannot say that your religion is better than everyone else, everybody's politics in Pakistan's politics can be different than India's politics. You don't have to agree on everything. But you can help each other economically yeah. grow and get better. And that's what we want. It's just good things. You know, this kid is from Pakistan. He's saying, like, India shares a lot of stuff. And things like poverty and kids Hunger. not eating and not going to school. But my husband says that all the time. We look similar. We have similar beliefs. We have similar food styles. Yeah. We have a lot of the same because we used to be one. And, you know... It doesn't have to be open your border up, but like open your minds a little, I think. And just as long as religion can be personal, you know, Hindu, Buddha, Muslim, Christian, doesn't matter. It's been a lot better. Don't push your beliefs on other people and don't make it part of your policy, your government, your nation, yeah. not run by religion. Then everybody can live anywhere and peacefully and yeah, you're, you can have your government run a certain way and it can be different than India or it can be different from Nepal. It doesn't have to be exact. But if you can let some of the other things go, I think the getting to the basics like making sure the children have food, that they go to school, that your economy is growing, that you're, you have jobs, great jobs, you know, use the stuff that you have in common to grow your economy and your country and make it better. So we enjoy Sadhguru yes. and his wise knowledge. So I hope you guys like this. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful family. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.